Hi Makers, it's Charlotte with Makesy. Today I'm here with Esther, who's our in-house perfumer. Esther has decades of experience in the fragrance industry, and today Esther and I are going to teach you the basics of how to create your own perfumes. Let's get it started with hearing a little bit about Esther's background. Hi, Makers. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I started in the fragrance industry when I was actually a teenager in college, and I needed a job. So I started working as a lab technician for a very large fragrance house in New York, and it was instant magic. I fell in love with it. <laughs> I just, uh, I enjoyed smelling the individual aroma chemicals, putting them together like, um, you know, as a formula, making something special. And I had a wonderful, wonderful perfumer that was training me. So I was really fortunate. From there, I moved on to another fragrance house. And I actually, that's where I finally started actually training to be a perfumer. And the uh, art of perfumery is not, uh, it's not a short one, the, the learning process. So it was about 10 years of learning and creating and, and just really being immersed in that field. And then um, after that, I've worked for several companies creating fragrances and managing some perfumers and uh, visiting customers, which was my favorite thing to do. Um, so it's been a wonderfully gratifying experience and being here at Macy is absolutely the best. So thank you so much for being so welcoming with me. Yeah, we are so happy to have Esther on our team and Esther is here to help you guys learn how to make your own perfumes. So as Esther said, perfumery is, is it's not a short course. However, what we're going to do in this video and over the course of our videos on perfumery is break it down into bite-sized pieces of education so that you can learn how to make your own perfumes without spending 10 years studying. We want you to be able to create beautiful custom fragrances and so we're providing a full toolkit uh, so you can use different fragrance notes and accords and create something absolutely beautiful and unique. So with that, we're gonna get into a few of the basics on fragrance terms and how to create your own perfume. So let's start with the absolute simplest question. What is perfume? Well, perfume is actually utilizing a fragrance and adding it into a carrier. Some people don't like using alcohol, so you can use an oil, you can use a balm, or you can use alcohol, and that makes the perfume. And a fragrance is pretty much all the wonderful ingredients that make something smell great. Um, it's just a really pretty smell. And honestly, in perfumery, there's nothing that's really wrong because if you love it, then it's right. <laughs> and as Esther has told me many times, you know, when you get, because I've created perfumes and you have moments where you get frustrated. Things are not turning out how you want them to. Something doesn't smell exactly as you planned it to. Um, but Esther reminds me that some of the best perfumes that were ever created were created by mistake. So this is a process that's meant to be creative, fun, and exploratory. There is no right or wrong, as Esther no. said, and we're gonna walk you through how to make a product that you love. And once you get started, you will be so hooked because you're creating something special, something that's yours, you're using your talents uh, and your creativity, and it's, it's, you'll just wanna continue to create, create, create. So, the first thing you're gonna need is our perfumery kit. Yes. Let's pull it out and show them the good stuff. Amazing kit. <laughs> This is our beautiful perfumery kit. This kit contains everything you need to get started making your own perfumes. And Esther and I are gonna walk you through this kit and answer questions as we go. So first, when you open up the box, you're gonna see all of these beautiful accords. And Esther, talk us through what accords are. Okay. Um, you'll, you will receive 12 of each with this kit. You'll have 12 uh, top, 12 heart, 12 base accords. An accord is just two or more notes put together to create a novel new note. So an accord just wants a specific signature. You use the accords as building blocks for your fragrance. So you'll have some uh, a top building block, a heart building block, and a 
base building block to create your fragrance. And as you get a little bit more experienced, you'll also, you can use two or three hearts or two or three tops. There really are no rules, but we are giving you a good start with 12 of each that try to cover all the scent camps. Yes, and this is a little bit different than the way that most people may approach perfumery. Right. And we decided to launch these Accords because we wanted to make the process simpler. Doesn't take 10 years of training no. to learn how to make your own perfume and understand aroma chemicals, how they react with one another, how they react on skin, for example. Um, so what we've done with these Accords is we left all of the creativity and all of the fun of making your own fragrance, but we took away uh, the complexity of it and we took away um, some of the risk of it and all of these accords can be used up to 30 percent in alcohol and be safe on your skin so that is one of the beautiful parts of these accords a lot of them even smell fantastic on their own but you can use them in numerous endless combinations to create Absolutely. your own perfumes with them a perfumer can work up can work with up to 10,000 different ingredients. That's a lot of ingredients I have to <laughs> smell and put things together. So we, we took the hard part out so you can just go have some fun. Exactly, exactly. So let's get to the fun. Yes. So once you have your kit, this is where you want to get started. Esther, what do you suggest as first steps for somebody making their perfume? Well, the first thing you always must do is you really need to familiarize yourself with the Accords. So take them out, and what I like to do is I like to dip them in a blotter and then have them sit. Now we are giving you, in this amazing kit, we're giving you a blotter holder. So you can hold all your blotters and smell all of the accords. I would start with your top accords and see, you know, do you want a citrus fragrance or do you want a green fruity fragrance as your top? Because we have all of those for you. And then you pick what you really like. So here are your blotters. And we have the, um, the stand where you can put your blotters and you smell them and you let them sit for a couple of minutes and then you just go back and say, oh, I love this, I wanna work with this, or no, not right now. And then that's how you decide. And you do the same for the heart and you do the same for the base. So in the beginning, it'll take you a little bit of time until you get to know your ingredients, which is your accords, you have 36 of them. So take your time, smell them, see how they dry down a little bit, and then you can say, hey, I really wanna work with these, and then you can narrow them down to what you wanna work with. Though we gave you some starter recipes, I had a little fun myself and put together some cool recipes for you. Um, and you can take those and use them as is, or you can revise them how you want. Um, so that'll help you get started as well. The starter recipes are really a great way to kind of practice and to start to understand what it feels like, what the steps are, what does this process look like in creating my own perfume, and how do these individual chords smell on their own? And then when I put them together, what new olfactive profile is created? So once you're ready to start making your own perfume, you've smelled your accords, you've identified those that you want to use to get started, then Esther, what's the process of combining them together? Okay, well, we are giving you blotters where you can have make your experiments. We are giving you a pad where you have to write your experiments. Whether always they're, write them down. <laughs> always, because you may come up with something magnificent and then you're like, oh no, I forgot how many parts of leather did I use? So always write everything down, whether you like the end result or not, always write everything down. So you start, we are giving you a scale. So you have your scale, make sure you have clean workspace, make sure that you have room for everything. Um, take your scale out and let's say you wanna start with something that's very light citrus so maybe you're gonna i like to start by working with 10 parts it's just easier but you know you can work with as many parts as you want so let's say and that would be let's say 10 grams so you would take let's say you want a light citrus so you'll take one of the citrus we give you a couple you add let's say two drops and then you're like okay i really want a rose heart so then you take we give you a beautiful rose you say, well, I want it to be more rose and citrus. So maybe you add four parts of rose. 
and you write that down, two parts of citrus, four parts of rose, and then you have to decide, well, what do I want it to linger like? What do I want the base to smell like? So you can have it be a clean musk, or you can have it be a smoky leather. There's so, I mean, we're giving you so many beautiful accords. So you decide what you like, you decide what you want your fragrance to smell like, and then you add the base. You can add, if you want it to be very heavy on the dry down, you can add four or five parts. If you want it to be kind of light on the dry down, you can add two or three parts. You can play, which is why we're giving you a pad that you can just write all your experiments down and you know you can keep adding i sometimes do that i'll make a little experiment i'm like no it needs one more part you, you pour in another part with the pipe we're giving you pipettes so you use your pipette and then you <laughs> everything you need is everything you need you can put them in bottles you can create your own perfumes with them either for a spray perfume or a roller and you can store your creations in these glass bottles um so you really have everything you need to get started. Right. We'll say over and over again, you can't make any mistakes. So when you, you start creating, don't be hard on yourself, have fun and continue to play with them. Once you found something that you love, you now have created your own custom perfume. Exactly. And that perfume is something that you can use, as Esther said, in alcohol, in oil, as a balm. All of these are skin safe up to 30% usage. So you can put them in other products too. Absolutely. If you have your own product line and you wanna carry the signature fragrance across every product, then you can use it up to 30% on skin. So you could put it in a lotion, you could put it in- A bubble bath. A bubble bath. You could even put them in candle. Yes. So there's really endless uh, options for you to run with and play with with this perfumery kit. And what's great is that these fragrances are an expression of you. So it's you'll be so satisfied by smelling this and saying, you know, I created this. This is an expression of me and the things that I love. So. We really encourage you to just play. It's fun, play, it's exciting. Um, don't And don't be afraid, don't ever be afraid, because guess what? You can always start from scratch if you don't like it. So that is just the general basics of what comes in this kit and how to create your own perfumes. Um, Esther and I will be creating more videos to help walk you guys through uh, a little bit more in-depth tutorial on how to create your perfumes, how to evaluate them, and how to understand more terminology in fragrance and perfumery. So thank you guys so much for joining us today. We had an absolute blast and we hope that you have so much fun creating your own perfumes. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and we will get you guys all the answers you need to make something amazing. Absolutely. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now, go, go make, make it happen. happen.